Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks. And I am absolutely super stoked. Tomorrow I'm going off to US. If you checked out my video on that yesterday, massive thank you to all of you for so many awesome comments. There were some seriously troll comments, but I'd say at least 90, 90% 90 awesome was really cool. And so today I'm a little bit pressed for time. But I just thought about an awesome game that I had. Well, definitely not awesome from the way that I'm going to play this game. But for pure hilarity's sake, you've got to stay until the end. It, it will seriously be worth your time. Alright, so I'm playing in the M5A1 Stuart. What is this tank, you might be saying? Well, it's a Tier 4 Chinese light tank. And the funny thing about the Stuart, and the whole funny thing about the Chinese tech tree, is they're kind of knockoffs of other vehicles. I think at Tier 1, it's copying a French tank. I think at Tier 2, it's copying a Soviet tank. Tier 3, a British tank. Tier 4, an American tank. Actually, sorry, Tier 3 was a Japanese tank. And then at Tier 5, it's copying the, the Soviet tank. So the whole line is just simply ridiculous. Now, it used to be the case that the M5A1 Stuart was just pretty much better than the American M5 Stuart. you think the A1 would give it that little bit of an upgrade, right? However, when Wargaming changed all of the light tanks, they actually dramatically changed the M5 Stuart to being this, this kind of a freak at Tier 4 American. It's got this gun that's... Uh, what's the caliber on the gun? The caliber on the gun is a 37mm. I'm confusing that because this tank has a 47, but the American has a 37mm. And it's a gun that once it stops... When it starts firing, it just simply can't stop. It carries five rounds in its clip, each round doing 40 damage. And it's got 0.67 intra-clip reload. So that means it's going to take like two to three seconds to be able to fire off the entire magazine. And you literally can't stop after you've clicked once. It's one of the most ridiculous tanks in the game. I thoroughly recommend you go out and check out, check out the M5 Stuart, the American Tier 4 light. It's truly hilarious, and it's always a fun one to bring out on stream occasionally. The Chinese vehicle, on the other hand, is all about the single shotgun, and that gives it much better penetration, both on its standard rounds, 81mm, and especially on the vehicle's premium rounds, which are 130mm of pen. And I'm going to be using them in this game to try and take on higher tiered medium tanks, but unfortunately Wargaming seems to want me to dump all of my premium rounds into the ridgeline instead. All right, so we get above the 25 TP, we put some rounds into his turret, and just check out this new map. It's not really a new map. Highway's been in the game for, for donkey's years, but it's... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just giggling out the fact. Look at what this Matilda Black Prince is called. This Matilda Black Prince is called Satan. Is that the, really the tank that Satan would drive? A Matilda Black Prince? I don't think so. Probably one of the more tragic um, premium vehicles in the game, and of course the first uh, British vehicle that was ever in the game, the Matilda Black Prince. Uh, what was it going on about? Oh, yeah, Highway. All right, Highway, you know, it's come back and it's in HD. And I have to admit, I think this map looks absolutely glorious, as do all of Wargaming's HD maps. Uh, I'm not sure about the balancing changes. They've really allowed the enemy team to camp here a lot better than they were previously. Previously, they were very vulnerable to artillery. That's no longer the case. So it does feel like that corner's a bit of a stalemate when I'm playing it at high tier. But at least at low tier, we've managed to break through. All right, so M5A1 Stuart, I'm going to make my way into the bush here, and I try to set up my binoculars, but I get spotted, so I immediately fall back. So that suggests to me that there's probably a tank or two either set up around here at long range, and for some reason they managed to spot me before my binoculars were set up, or alternatively, there we go, it's the Stug 4, I believe. That is the Tier 5 Premium, or shall I say the reward version. The first uh, reward mission, for, uh, well, the personal reward from those personal missions of the Season 1. And you've got to watch out for those Stugs because, well, they definitely don't have the best mobility or the best gun. Considering that they're at Tier 5, you can't take them lighthearted. That 75mm gun is still going to be able to pick you apart very quickly, especially when you've got 277 hit points. All right, so I'm going to be firing standard rounds here that do manage to go through the Stug, and I'm going to dab the 2 key a little bit. I'm just wondering why that shell didn't hit. That suggests to me that there might be a tank in the way. Alternatively, maybe I just got really unlucky with where the shell went, and I'm even going to fire a couple of blind rounds here. I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to take out this Stug, but unfortunately no kill there. But there's a T28 coming across. I'm going to really have to watch out for that T28, but I really don't have time also. Do you see what's happening along the southeast flank? Look at that glut of enemy tanks. They're going to be waltzing their way in, so I'm definitely going to have to push here. And I'm really hoping that this Marder 38T and the Sturitzwang M42 will be able to get cross shots and will be able to take out these tanks together. However, when you're dealing with a Stug, you've got to do this quickly. Looks like the T- 
82 HMC. I've spotted him. Is he going to be able to nail me in the side? And the Stug is waiting for me. What a disaster there. I bounce a T28. That's rather lucky. And I try and keep moving, but the T28 knocks out my commander. I dump one into the ridge line. I dump one into the side armor. Doesn't damage the vehicle. And although that one locks the T28 in place and damages the vehicle, which will help my Stritzvang M42 to be able to take out the tier 5 Sorry, tier 4 Soviet medium tank. Oh, surely he can't lose this jewel. Come on, buddy. Don't lose this jewel. I know it's a really high DPM tank. Thank goodness. All right. Oh, my God. Took out lithium flower on the enemy team. And I'm just hoping right now that he's going to be able to waltz up towards the cap circle, as you can see in chat. I'm kind of spamming the map a little bit here. I'm saying cap. I'm like, help cap, mate. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, if we call him a mate, he's definitely going to want to work for the team, right? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe he's going to go cap. Oh, God. Here comes the B1. The glut of enemy tanks actually decided to come back and protect their own cap circle. Looks like that's actually going to work out to be a good play, as three out of four of the enemy vehicles have managed to waltz back, and now they're going to be taking out, oh my god, here in his Stritzvang M42. Or are they? Or is he going to kill them all one by one by one? Well, we're just going to have to find out. Possibly. He just needs to aim at that T28, and yeah, nope. That tier 4 premium Soviet medium tank with that good old 85mm calibre gun with 4 kills on the enemy team shuts him down. Now I just have a little bit of a waltz through what my team are up to. We've got 1 artillery, we've got a Panzer 38 NA that's still sitting in base that I just presume is AFK by this point in the game. And the enemy waltz forwards towards the Marder 38T and shut him down. Now the Stug 3G on our team... Noticing that every single enemy tank has made it back towards the base to protect is actually deciding to advance now So good stuff there for the Stug 3G That's definitely what I would like to be doing right now once you've spotted all of the enemy tanks You've got to get forwards and try and take up an adv advantageous position and it looks like the Stug 3G's advantageous position is going to be right along here on this ridge line, and this is a very powerful bush to use, especially if you're using um, a light tank. Even you can just go up here in a light tank or a tank destroyer at the start of the game if you do spawn towards the southwest, and you can really start to get some vision out against anything that's very aggressive along here, anything that especially that makes their way along the ridge line, and you can do very well indeed. So Stug 3G versus a KV-1S caught out in the open, but it doesn't look like the Stug is pulling back behind the bushes, and because he doesn't pull back behind the bushes that means he gets spotted and because he gets spotted the kvs puts one shell in but he does manage to finish him off and for some reason the stug's armor is holding up manages to bounce 160 damage there from the t28 e f30 that is a bit of a tongue twister of a name right and i have a look back into cap to see what this panzer 38 na is doing and i don't know what what can we deduce from this minecraft boy 2006 how long does that make him Oh, goodness gracious, he's 12. Oh, no. Is he actually here or is he a bot? We're going to have to find out. Should we zoom in a little bit? Not moving right now. But our Stug is still going to waltz on towards the enemy team along the east. While Minecraft boy, maybe he's looking for diamonds here in the cap circle. Looks like the SU-5 is also asking for a, uh, an invite to the cap here. And this is what cracks me up, ladies and gents. Oh my goodness gracious, the Panzer 38 NA is turning his turret inside the cap circle. Oh dear. I thought it was a bot or somebody who was just completely AFK. Well, maybe a bot will still turn the cap circle, right? I mean, to all intents and purposes, this might be just the smartest Minecraft bot in World of Tanks, right? Well, when I remember when, when I was playing Minecraft, you could set up all sorts of the, the little computer things to, what were they called? Turtles. You could program turtles and get them to go and collect you loot and whatnot, I think. Anyway, forget about Minecraft. The only reference to Minecraft here is that we've got Minecraft boy on our team. And he's frantically looking around. Where would he be looking right now? He's looking in this area. He's looking at the windmill, maybe, listening to the sounds. Safest place is the bush, but oh my lord. Minecraft boy. Turns his turret towards the 14 TP and shuts him down with a little auto gun. Oh my days. What have we got here? Oh, maybe this is the next level tactics of World of Tanks, right? Maybe I've been doing it wrong this whole time. Surely if I just protect the cap circle, I can never lose, right? Is that the way that it works? I think so, possibly. I was absolutely giggling my backside off here and I am now completely rooting for Minecraft boy when I was streaming during this I was like come on buddy we got this let's go all right so I took a look <laughs> now this is just a ridiculous situation Minecraft boy is in his own cap circle yet there's one enemy tank inside his cap circle as well it's slowly ticking down 
Yet, Minecraft Boy isn't doing anything. What's his plan? He's looking behind him, as if he knows where the enemy tanks are going to be. He's, he's looking at where the enemy tank is, but just just chilling? Okay, so I say in, I say in chat, the Ying Cap, go Minecraft boy. There's both of them inside the cap circle now. You can see at the top of the screen. I say, I believe in you, you can do it. 15 seconds, 14 seconds, 13 seconds, 12, 11, 10. Oh, come on, buddy. Eight, you're looking in the right direction. And look at this. Look at this. Seriously? She just starts firing red. Seriously? No, no, we're not being serious. There are two tanks inside the cap circle. Cap, how can they even not be spotted? I didn't even realize that cap circles were more than 50 meters big. They must have been here. They must have been, did they push in? Look, they pushed in, they pushed in. One was here and one was here. And yet our hero, or should I say our anti-hero, Minecraft boy was just chilling in the bush. And so ladies and gents, I wonder if this seriously is a first for Will of tanks having your base capped while you've got people in your own cap circle i don't know have you ever seen anything like this happen i sure as hell haven't all right so i get an orlix medal here in my m5a1 stewart for destroying two or more enemy vehicles that are one tier higher than me and while i really feel i could have done more in this game ah you know we still did all right everything apart from firing the amount of premium rounds that we did but with a low tier light tank having to take on higher tier mediums and tank destroyers phew, i can't feel too guilty about that anyway that's it for today folks i just wanted to put out something a little silly today if you enjoyed it give the video a thumbs up but if you hated it give it a thumbs down and let me know in the comments down below whether you think that minecraft boy was either a bot or maybe the most next level troll of all time maybe minecraft boy was watching the stream and knowing that i would get <laughs> a little bit frustrated maybe this is the most next level way of being able to get onto my youtube channel i don't know anyway i don't encourage anything like this hopefully this was just low tier silliness and as always thank you so much for watching you've been epic and hopefully i'll see you soon